All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get all of the files and stuff that you have in your old Brownsboro K12 TXUS in your Google Drive account with that um, email address moved over to your new Go Bears Go account. So some people have just tried sharing all of those documents from their old one to their new one, and that works. It gives you access to it, but it doesn't make the new person the owner. So whenever we delete those Brownsboro K12 accounts in a year, you're going to lose all of those documents because the owner of those documents will no longer exist. So in order to prevent that from happening, we're going to use um, something called Google Takeout. Now to use Google Takeout, you want to be signed in to your um, old Brownsboro K-12 TXUS account. Okay, and we're going to go to Google. Whenever you go to Google, you're just going to search Google Takeout. And it's going to be this first one that pops up. Okay, so we are going to create an archive. And we only want to do our drive. So I'm going to unselect all of these and select Drive. And click Create Archive. Okay, now depending on how long um, or how many items you have, It'll depend on how long this will take. If you don't have that many, then it shouldn't take very long at all. Um, whenever this is done, a little um, blue button is going to pop up that's going to say download. And you're going to click on download, and it's going to take all those files that are in your drive and save them to your computer. Okay, so when that's done, you're going to want to sign out. After you click download, you're going to want to sign out and sign into your new account. I'm going to use this test user. Okay, so I'm going to go to my drive. Okay, I don't have any files over here because um, this is my new account. Uh, before we upload that folder that we just saved from Google Takeout, uh, you're going to want to change the upload settings and you're going to want to convert uploaded files to Google Docs format. This is so that you can still edit those things. If you don't do that, then they're all just going to come in as Word documents and Excel documents and you won't be able to edit those without downloading them again and saving them. So it's just a lot easier if you go ahead and make that upload settings convert to Google Docs format. Okay, so now we're going to click Upload Folder and it's going to be in your Downloads folder and it's going to be called something um, like your email. It's going to start with your your old email account. Um, you'll only have one of these. I have a few because I've done this a few times. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. You click Drive and there's all your files, but uh, you just have to click the Drive folder and then you're going to click Upload. Okay, and so it's going to slowly start populating this um, my drive with my with things from my old account. It's going to put it all into this one folder. It's going to save all the folders that you have. So if you had folders already made in your old Google Drive, it's going to transfer them over here. It's not just going to be one bulk thing, kind of like the email was. Okay, but when it's done, then you'll have all of your documents over here, and um, everything should be in a Google Docs format or a Google Sheets format, Google Presentation, so that now you can edit it. Um, if you have shared these documents with someone, like two people are working on the same thing, you are going to need to reshare them with their new Go Bears Go account because they only have access to it through their um, Brownsboro K-12 one. So you're going to need to reshare the things with the other person's Go Bears Go account. 